hoping that um, I can be heard. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. Um, today is Thursday, June 6th. No, yes. June 16th. I don't know how I could forget that because tomorrow is my son's Earth Arrival Day. He'll be 28. At any rate, um, today is Thursday, June the 16th, and uh, you know you kind of need to bear with me because my energy is a little bit scattered, which is never a good thing. You're supposed to always be focused in your energy, and uh, I'm going through some serious uh, uh, soul searching again about the show, not for the reasons that I've given before, but for other reasons. Um, it was brought to my attention, uh, before I get into it, tonight we are going to do, I am going to give the instruction on astral projection, but I need to give um, at least a partial list of scholars because it's been brought to my attention that some of the listeners are only sticking in here because they want the list of scholars that I was going to get. And just because I think people are scholars doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be scholars in your mind. Um, I'm going to, uh, I don't keep up with everyone as far as who is still alive or um, no one, no longer with us and things of this nature, but uh, um, for those of you that are only sticking around because you wanted me to give a list of scholars, this is not going to be all inclusive because I don't know where the list is even, so I'm going to have to shoot from uh, the head, um, which is usually not the best thing for me. Um, I'm going to start with uh, some female scholars first that are scholars in my personal estimation. See, I keep telling people I'm not a scholar. I only know a couple of things about a couple of things, and it's not much, but you all should know these things. Um, there are people that are scholars and masters of other things, and you may want to get with them if the thing that they're doing is the thing that you're looking for, if it's what you seek. For individuals that are looking for um, mastery at law, I would say that you want to... Uh, See what all you can find out there from a sister named uh, um, Valhari Bay. Some people call her Valera. Um, her name is spelled V-A-L-H-A-R-R-E, I believe. Um, she has a lot of insight on the law from the, as, as females go. Um, the most potent brother in law, in my personal estimation, you know, I don't think there's a, a, a more appropriate scholar on the matter than this brother. His brother Taj Tariq Bey, a brother that is very well informed about the law, gives you as much as he can about it. He's very forthcoming. It's not all about the paper chase with this brother. Um, people that are out there attacking him for whatever reasons, they're on some whole other stuff, and that ain't my problem. Um, as far as law goes, there's a group out that has major insight in law. Um, now, me, I'm not a part of anything. You know, I'm just me. I just do me. I'm not on Facebook, YouTube, any of this other stuff. But there's a group out that has a lot of insight on law, and they're called the Aboriginal Law Firm Group or the Aboriginal Law Group, something to this effect. Um, based on what I'm gathering, they have a lot of information. The only problem that I have with them is the problem that I have with a lot of people whose websites are set up like theirs. I don't like it when I go to a website and I have to give my firstborn just to see what you're even talking about. Um, uh, there are several sites out there that if you just want to see a page or if you want to read something, you have to give your name, your email address, some want to ask, street address, phone numbers, your date of birth, or your gender, your income. Are you gay? Are you straight? Upload a photo. Uh, a lot of people, they want way entirely too much information just so you can look at the website and see if you're even interested in pursuing it any further. With them, that's the only problem that I have with them, the hoops you have to go through just to even get access to them. But they do have good information. And they came to my attention uh, a few years ago, probably three years ago, I think, is when they came to my attention. Um, now, there's another group um, 
that knows a lot about law and for those individuals that are also looking for something to join and having the need to be a part of something. Um, the most effective group I see out there right now as groups go is uh, ISIS, the International Society of Indigenous Sovereigns. People can say what they want to say about Dr. Ali Muhammad, who, from what I gather, used to be affiliated with the Aboriginal law firm group, uh, about calling them just a social club or whatever. Well, shit, the United States was just a social club the last time I checked. So um, social club or not, they're being effective. And for people that don't know and they're trying to find their way, that's a good place to start. There's a lot of information on the website. You can go to the website. It's called... Uh, uh, we, the Aboriginal People. dot com, if if my memory serves me correct, um, they have a lot of information out there, uh, free for the reading for the most part. Um, they're not a free group to join, but they're not like some of these people that are outrageous in the prices. Oh yeah, fifteen hundred dollars, and you know, give us your firstborn, and you know, we want to know everything about you, and. You know, they want to know a lot about you, but uh, I guess they have their reasons. But they've been effective. Um, to become a member is like $250 up front and I think $20 a month, which to me is not really asking much for people that are group-oriented. Uh, for those individuals that can't swing that, I don't know if they still have it. They used to have an affiliate membership that was $50 a month uh, plus, I'm sorry, $50 up front plus the $20 a month. Um, now, I, I believe there are things that you can do that can warrant your uh, being booted out of the organization, and I'm not sure how that's a government. You know, it, it may not be, because to me, if you're a government, you know, I don't know how, even in the United States, let's call, let's call that thing what it is. You can be all kind of things, and I don't see them kicking people out and saying you're no longer a U.S. citizen because unless you weren't one to begin with kind of thing. If you came over here and um, naturalized, I guess you can use it. So I, I don't know, um, but they're pretty effective. That's on the uh, legal uh, front. Uh, for individuals that are looking for masters at the science of astrology, I can only think of two, really. Uh, one is Sea Star Myra from... Uh, Carolina, I don't know, I don't remember if it's North Carolina or South Carolina, she's a master. Um, she's out there on Facebook, and I think she spells her name M-Y-R-A-H, maybe, um, um, unless there's two R's, perhaps. I could be getting that wrong. Um, what is her last name? Oh, God, I can't think of her last name, but just see what you can find out there on an astrologer named Sister Myra. She's a master at what she does. I don't know that she does readings anymore. I've been uh, advised that she really doesn't do them anymore, I guess, unless you're already affiliated. But she, she knows her stuff. Now, for people that uh, uh, don't have a problem with stepping with someone out of the, out of the so-called race, which, you know, there is no, this race thing is not quite what people say. That's an erroneous description for anything because, you know, my mom had four children. Each one of us had a different father. So technically, we're not even a race, and we came from the same mother. So, you know, if you know that a race is those that technically come from the same mom and dad, then you're talking about a bunch of inbred, incested out people that are all about race and racialism and racism. And if you're incested out and inbred out and you keep marrying your own mother, sister, brothers, cousins, nieces, and nephews, you are a race. But if you want to, if you don't have a problem with stepping out of the uh, melanin rich thing, there's a, a, a sister out there, what is her name? Oh, God, I can't think of her name. But she has a website, and her website is planetaryvisions.net. No, yes, dot net. I don't know if visions ends with an S or not. Um, there's more than one site out there with a similar name, so you want to make sure you get the right one. And you'll know that you're looking at the right site if you get to the website and they sell astrological boards in 3D form. 
I don't know why I can't. You know what? Let me look in my phone. If I look in my phone, I can pull her name up for you real quickly. Bear with me one second because um, she's one of the most powerful astrological masters I have ever, ever seen. Um, hopefully I can find her name very quickly. Catherine. That's it. I didn't find it, but it just came to me. Her name is Catherine with a C. I uh, can't think of Catherine's name off the top of my head. I think she is of the, what people call Hispanic persuasion, not from Spain and I don't think from Mexico either. But uh, she's a master of, uh, of astrology to the point that if she does a reading on you, which she won't do a reading on anyone that she hasn't met personally face-to-face, -face, you feel like you're talking to a psychic. That girl can read you so cold. You think you're talking to a psychic. At any rate, uh, that's it on the uh, individuals that are about astrology. Um, for people that are looking for... Uh,